Sam here today, and we're going to be adding air assist to our Monport K40 laser over here. We're going to be using a cloud ray nozzle, laser nozzle. This thing pretty much fits just about <laughs> any K40 out there, really. And uh, it, this thing is not, it's not that hard to hook up. You can do this. And one of the things that helps you out if you go to put, you really need air assist on there because it does two things. It helps make your cut really clean. But what most people don't realize is the air going through here keeps your lens clean because all this uh, burning and the residue goes up in there and gets on your lens. And it's going to make your lens clean longer and you know let you cut longer so now let's get started with this thing right now again so the first thing we need to do here is that we need to loosen up the old laser head and you can get, you're just going to need a pair of pliers for that and uh, i actually marked mine here and i'm going to try to get a center mark on the other one i put this back and maybe that'll make it easier all right now that we have our laser nozzle off, we're going to do a couple of things here. Try to get you a clean cloth to do this on. Help keep your lens clean while you have it down here. And when we take this uh, mirror out, it's going to help uh, keep our mirror clean. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. It has two set screws in the bottom. You only really need to tighten up one of them. And it, it actually comes with the Allen wrench that you're going to need. The rest of it unscrews. Now this part right here, I'm going to take apart because this comes with a ring in it that let you adapt for just about whatever laser lens you have. And this thing should pop right out of here. Yeah, see it usually just comes right out, no big deal. We're gonna put that back in there. And now, you get everything here. We'll take this lens. Now I'm just gonna wipe it just a little bit because I don't really want fingerprints on it now. This thing is kind of thin, and y'all, most all laser lenses have an oval top and a flat bottom, and you want the oval top always facing up. Now this one here is kind of hard to see that, but if you look real close at this thing, I don't know whether this camera will focus on that, the bottom here is sort of has a sharp edge on it, and the top is a little bit oval where you can see that, but it's hard to see. But anyway, you'll know if you get it wrong and it'd be easy to fix. So we want the oval side up and now we're gonna screw this piece on because it's gonna keep the uh, laser lens in place. Now, you wanna leave this, you wanna leave the nozzle off because it's gonna get in the way when you go to put this thing back on there. So now we're going to go over here and I'm going to try to put that kind of right in the middle there and I prefer to screw the head on. I found that's the easiest way to do it because there's a large hole right here that you're going to be putting this thing in. Now once you get it to where you kind of have it centered, tighten up the bottom. And uh, this thing doesn't need to be really tight, super tight or anything. Just tight enough where it's not going, where it's not going to move on you. And if it does, get a hold of the top, move it around a little bit. All right, now we got this. So next thing we want to do is put our mirror in here. And we could have done this while it was out, but. And of course, you can't get this one wrong. It's real shiny on one side, it's real dull on the other. Shiny side goes in. 
This thing has plastic screws in it. Be gentle with them. So here we go. This should tighten this down. Hold this right in there. All right. How does that look? Now I got this thing off so you can move it back and forth real easy. So yeah. Yeah. We're going to move on to the next part. All right. Now there's a couple of different kinds of hoses you can use on here. You can go to Amazon. You can buy this kit. And it's a pretty good kit. It's like 14, 15 bucks. It comes with all kinds of, it even comes with a tubing cutter and all different kinds of fittings. And this comes with about 30 feet of uh, tubing. And, but thing is, I think it's just a little bit stiff for, you know, hooking up directly to the lasers. Now, you go over to Home Depot, and this is a quarter inch flexible tubing. You can buy 10 feet of this for about $3.98. So, that's what I'm going to use today. And before we run this in there, I'm going to show you a trick that's going to make it easier for you to get this in that up in that cable track and hook up to your laser. When you get ready to run this hose up in there, I'm going to show you a little trick, make it a little bit easier to go up through that cable track. And that's to sand off the sharp ends here and round it off. And you can use a belt sander, you know, whatever you want to use. And you just want to run that on there and just round over that end. And it, it just, uh, it'll make it a whole lot easier to shove it up through that cable track. All right. Now that the end of this is rounded off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over a big hole over here. That's going to help us speed that through it. And we want to slide this over all the way to the left. Now we're going to come in through this hole. And we're going to try to keep the holes... Turn, try to keep your hose turned so that curve is facing up. It'll help go through that track a little bit easier. And it wouldn't hurt to have a pair of needle nose pliers or and a real small screwdriver because it's going to hang a couple times here, probably. And uh, keeping it over here on your left is the best way to get that up in there. And then you might have to go back and uh, do this to it. Now you can, you might be able to see it going down through there. And uh, might have to push it down a couple times. But actually, this is one of the hardest things about this, is getting this hose in here. And uh, you can also get a hold of it close over here and get you a better push on that. Now, if you have a real small screwdriver, you can stick that down in there and help get that through there. Now, we're going to Try to push it through some more. And if you get close enough, you can you can reach in there and get a hold of that. Or you can just help push it along. But anyway, this is uh this is one of the hardest parts about getting this just getting this hose through there. And you can see it can be a booger. Sometimes it just don't wanna act like a teenager, don't want to cooperate. <laughs> But, yeah, once you get a hold of it, you should be able to pull it right in. I probably should have got my other needle-nose pliers for this. Got a smaller head on them. Now, get it over here. And we're going to pull that through that. And pull a little extra. That's not going to hurt anything. Because being having a little extra doesn't hurt nothing. All right. Now we got all that in there. And make matters easier, we're going to cut this bad end off of here. 
Yeah, there you go. Then we're going to start out with a clean, fresh end. Now, if you got your Phillips screwdriver with you, so here and uh, run it up in the end of that a little bit, just move that around. It'll flare this end up and uh, make it easier to get on that. And of course, then make sure that piece is tight. Now, there you go. Got the hose on it. Wasn't that bad. So now we're going to stick this under here. Give yourself a little room so it doesn't interfere with your uh, spotter there, your red pointer. And now we're going to tighten this down. But I'm going to I'm only going to use one set screw because I don't think it needs both of them because it's not really going to go anywhere. And if it does turn a little bit, it's not going to hurt anything. All right. Now my garage gets kind of cold, and and this stuff it's going to get a little stiff. But what we want to do is we want to go down this back side over here. Let me rotate this camera so you can see it. And uh, you want to come all the way, come all the way forward. Do you hit over here? And then give yourself a little, little small bend in this thing down here. So you can see where it's at now. And then move it back and forth. Now it's gonna. Now you can take and tie wrap this with the uh, wire wrap. Right but now you just want to make sure that you got enough in there to make it flexible. And then what you want to do, there's a hole back here. And I'm going to get all the way around so you can see it. You got this hole right here. And just take and uh, feed this tubing back through there until you... Uh, Until you come out the hole. Now, pull your excess out and come back over here to the front. Make sure you didn't pull too much out. Have your rail all the way to the front and move it back and forth. And that's where you want to stay at, right there. Now, Come over here. Now, what I have done is I've tied into my air system. I got this shut off valve here. You can get that on Amazon too. I got a air sort of uh, cleaner, and my system gets a lot of water in it because it's outside. This will help trap the water. And then here's your regulator for your final air, however much air you're going to give it. And uh, if everything's close enough, which it is, you can take and uh, plug that right into that. Turn this on. And what I'm gonna do is drive it off a little bit. All right, so we got about 10 pounds of air. And you can hear this, uh, you can hear it blowing right there. We got plenty of air now. Ten pounds is probably plenty. You probably don't need that much. All right. So now comes the next part, which is actually might be the hardest. Part. All right. Here's the hardest part about the air system. That's checking the alignment of your laser mirrors once you get it on there. Now we're going to give it a little pulse right here, and we're going to set it on fire too. How about that? I better turn that back down a little bit. Let's try that again. Many people out there set their tape on fire when they went to do that. All right, man. Let's do this a little quicker. Oh, that's better. Now, I'm going to move this over here to the other side. And now we're going to give it a quick shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got lucky. It's over top. It's right over top itself. So, hey. We're really good there. If anything's a little low, but we can fix that. All right, now that we got this all ready to go, 
Let's do a burn and see how it's going to work. Oh, let me turn my hair back on before I forget. Oh. Here we go. see something else about this K40 or a video on something, hey, put it in the comments below. Also, look down below in the description if you would like to buy Monport. I support Monport and uh, I have a coupon down there that's always good for 6% off. So, hey, click on the link down there, use that coupon, get you a laser. Y'all have a good day now. Bye.